In this lecture, we want to look at finding directions by the midday sun. Since tracing the sun to the horizon works best only about three hours after sunrise or about three hours before sunset, during the midday hours, say two hours before or after land, you can use a shadow stick to find directions. To fashion a shadow stick, poke a fairly straight stick about three feet long into the ground. Preferably, this will be a bit of, bit of ground that is free of grass, leaves, or any other material that might cast small shadows. Bare dirt works best because the shadows cast by grass and other things on the ground tend to get in the way of seeing exactly where the shadow from your stick's tip falls. If the stick isn't exactly perpendicular to the ground, that's okay, but the ground should be level. Where the tip of the stick casts its shadow, mark that shadow tip with a small stick, pebble, or any other such object. Having marked the shadow made by the stick's tip, wait about 15 minutes for the stick's shadow to move, and once more mark the stick's shadow tip. Be sure that the stick doesn't move once you've begun the process of noting shadow movements. Since the sun moves to the west, the second shadow tip marking will be to the east of the first, and a line drawn between the two markings will oftentimes be close enough to an east-west line for our purposes. The shadow stick method works best around midday all year long. Within about a week or so of each equinox, it works all day long, but the rest of the year, as a general rule, use it no more than two hours on either side of land. Shadow stick results are increasingly less accurate as the date moves away from the equinoxes and toward the solstices especially the winter solstice when the errors are greater than those at the summer solstice. Considering that any error greater than around 20 degrees is unacceptable, don't use the shadow stick method more than one hour away from land near the winter solstice at latitudes much above 40 degrees. Approaching near 60 degrees latitude and above, don't use it at all near the winter solstice. Away from the equinox, at other times in the fall and winter in these high latitudes, use it no more than one hour on either side of land. Having found a reasonable approximation of an east-west line, use it to determine the sun's approximate current bearing. Knowing the sun's current bearing, you can, for the next half hour or so, Use the sun as a celestial guidepost to help, help you proceed in any direction you want to go. You can get directions by the above method accurate to within about 20 degrees, often less. A course within 20 degrees of where you want to go is not as good as a dead accurate course, but it's a lot better than no direction at all. Moreover, if your objective is to find a lengthy baseline, only say a couple of me, a couple of um, kilometers away, you can probably tolerate that much inaccuracy in your course.